Hello again, this is a chapter 4 video looking at the music organizer version 2. Um, this is uh, an external and internal view of that um, project, um, and this is an actual music player, so that it will uh, play music. Um, if you uh, go ahead and open up the music organizer version 2 and have it there, um, you'll see that the music player class has been created. Um, now this music player class, we're not really going to look at how this actually works. Um, so just abstract yourself away from how it works and just assume that it just does work. All you need to do is give it a, a string um, of the music or a string of the file name um, of the file that you want to play and it will just play it. Um, we are going to have a quick look at the import statements um, and you will see that it's using this thing called a Java Zoom and the Java Zoom is a library and package which has been created um, to allow you to play music. So let's have a look at this. So here we have, um, uh, we've got two classes created now. Um, and you can see that music organizer, that little arrow there which points to music player, says that music organizer uses a music player object. Um, so we'll see later that uh, the music player object is actually used as a field in the music organizer. So first of all, let's just have a look at the music player class to see what it does. Um, so we can right click on that and we've got a single constructor for a new music player. Um, we can then right click on there and we can see we've got three public methods which we can see. Uh, play sample, start playing and stop. Um, the play sample method will just play a small sample of the particular track that we're playing. Um, the start playing will play the whole uh, track um, of the particular file name and then the stop will obviously stop it. So it's a pretty basic music player um, at this stage, no fast forward or pause or anything like that, but it, um, it plays music nevertheless. So let's have a go at um, just uh, playing this. So uh, we call the start playing method and it's looking for a file name. Um, so the file name we need to put in is now what you'll need to do is you'll need to put escape characters in. Now escape characters are needed when using um, backslashes um, within a um, within a string because otherwise it's a, the backslash is actually used as an escape character so you've got to do escape character and then backslash escape characters so if you, for example if you wanted to use um, a speech mark within a string then you need to use it, um, an escape character because if you use the speech mark otherwise um, then it would think that the string was ending so we use these as escape characters and you'll learn more about escape characters later so that's what our um, method call will look like, uh, um, and that's uh, our parameter we're going to give it. So let's just try that. So you can see here there, I've got a little bit of uh, Elvis playing away at this, so we're going to go in and, and stop that. So that's our music player class, pretty basic. Um, so let's uh, reset the whole thing again. So what we do now is create a music organizer class uh, object. Again, we'll see that uh, nothing too great has happened to the music organizer. Um, it's exactly it's the same um, single parameter or same uh, constructor is uh, is there, so no parameter required. If we do a right click, we can see that most of it is the same from the music organizer version one. So the add file, get in the files, list file, and remove file, they're all exactly the same methods. Uh, so if you want to look at those, um, then have a look at those in. Um, a previous uh, in the previous video, uh, the other the two we've got now is the start playing and stop playing methods. And what those methods are going to do is utilize the music player class to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and um, add a file, which is going to be my Elvis tune again, my escape characters. Okay, that. And then I can start playing my track. So you can see now we've got a, the start then of a MP3 player. So that's the external view. So let's just go have a look at the internal view. First of all, we're going to look at the music player class. Now, most of the classes we've looked at previously um, have not had many. Um, Imports at the, st at the start. We had a, a one import statement, but you see here there's, a, there's quite a lot of import statements there, um, and we don't really need to know all of this stuff. What happens in the background? We're going to learn a lot of this stuff later. So the buffered input stream and the top four there, we're going to learn about more. The one we're not going to learn about, we're just going to use really for this exercise, is the Java Zoom library, um, which is a third-party library to allow um, Java to play music. 
Um, again, we're not really going to go into too much depth in this. Um, just have a quick look at the methods we use. The public void play sample um, is uh, one of the methods which, which we use. You'll see that it's got a try, catch, and finally statement in. We're going to do those in chapter 11, so don't worry about those. Um, and we can see we've got some uh, some external methods calls um, in here, for example, player.play. Now if we have a look here at the fields, we'll see we create this object of a type advanced player, and that's just taken from this library here. Again, don't worry about how it works or what it does, just assume and be happy that it, it just works away happily to itself. Um, and there's the public void method which we play there, which is the actual playing of the track there. Um, methods that we don't use are these private methods in here which sets the player up and does some other bits and pieces. These are private again so we don't use those and they're needed to allow the class to work. Um, so the, uh, the developer has made them private so that other classes can't use them and you only get the three basic methods which you can use. Okay, let's have a look in the mu music organizer class. Looking into the class, you'll see that it's exactly the same pretty much as the uh, um, the version one, except there's a couple of changes. One, we've got an additional field, so we've now got two fields, uh, and the second field is of type music player, and we're going to call it player. Um, so the music player type is taken from from there, so it's that uh, object to there. So that's how the music organizer class is using the music player class there, it creates a field of type music player and calls it player. Um, in the constructor we'll see that it actually does the assignment there so it creates our new music player and puts it in memory somewhere. Um, those methods which are highlighted on the screen there are exactly the same as the previous um, uh, video or the previous music organizer version one so have a look at that if you want to go through those. The new ones are these methods here. So the start playing and stop playing. All we're going to do now is we're going to retrieve a um, string which we've created. So we create the correct file name. Um, in my case it was the um, C colon backslash music backslash Elvis dot mp3 track. Um, so that's once that's stored in our music list um, then we can get that from uh, the array list um, and then put that um, temporary string which you've created there, uh, put that into the start playing method of the player. So remember we already called the start playing um, method um, when we created our class so we can, we can just go ahead and do a right click start um, playing there or we can call it in code where we go player.start playing um, and then the file name. So that will start playing our, um, um, our track. And then the final new method in there is the stop playing, which again just does an external method call to the player object. And if we right click, we can demonstrate how that, that, where that method is. Um, but that, um, and that method at the bottom there actually um, codes in the, uh, the player to stop. Okay, so that's our uh, internal and external view of Music Organizer um, version 2. Um, I will see you on the next video.